Yeah, girls, I give you a simple mathematic. I have a 10 gram of A. Take, uh, takes 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Betul? Okay, guys, look at the information. Apa yang dia bagi? 10 gram. 10 gram ni, mass ke, volume ke, mole ke, mola. Mass ke, <coughs> it's a mass. And do, okay, this is the mass. This is the time taken. Guys, when I have a mass and I have a time, can I calculate the rate? Can I calculate the rate? Yes. Do you think what is the formula? What is the formula? It's a mass divided by time taken. Okay. Jadi, jadikan guys, 10 gram over 10 saat, you get 1.0 gram over second. Do you understand or not this? Do you understand or not? Okay. Sekarang ni guys, I give you another situation. Still 10 gram of A, of A, A, eh? A, takes maybe 100 second. Boleh tak kita kira rate? Can we calculate the rate? Yes, 10 gram divided by 100 second. What happened? 0 0.1 gram over second. We guys, we guys. Kau tengok sini betul-betul? Do you agree? Okay, saya cakap apa? Rate is inversely proportional with the time taken. Maksudnya guys, guys, Kau tengok dekat eksperimen ni eh. 10 second to 100 second. Time dia increase ke? De uh, increase ke decreases? Increase or decreases? Time. Increases. Guys, when the time increases, what happened to the rate? What happened to the rate? Time increases. Rate decreases. Sebab itulah, tengok sini. Daripada 1, dia jadi 0.1. Ini dipanggil inversely proportional. That's why lah, this is called as a inversely proportional. <coughs> yes, baby. <laughs> So, this proof to us, time and rate are interrelated. Time and rate are interrelated. Hmm. As the time increases, the rate decreases. This is the proof. Faham. 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 Good, baby. Screen capture. <laughs> shocking math. Apa yang shocking ni? This is basic math lah. Hmm. So now, I'm gonna continue. Okay. Eh, kalau tak faham, tanya eh. Jangan diam. Okay. Now guys. <coughs> now guys, you look at here. Again, rate of reaction. Kadar tindak balas. Kadar tindak balas. Kadar tindak balas. Dia adalah time. Time dengan rate. Eh? Sekejap, eh, guys. Uh, okay. What do you mean by rate of reaction adalah untuk bahan Bertukar jadi hasil. Bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Iaitu masa yang diambil. Jadikan guys. Jadikan lah guys. Secara matematik kan. 
Matematik kan? Macam mana nak tulis secara matematik? Rupa-rupanya, the rate secara matematik, dia adalah inversely proportional. Do you know how to write the inversely proportional symbol? This is inversely proportional with 1 over time taken. Yes, 1 over time taken. Eh, hey, guys, guys, saya nak tanya kamu. Dekat kalkulator kamu, ada tak this symbol? Do you have this symbol? Ada tak simbol ni? Do you have this symbol? No. Tak ada. Simbol apa yang ada? Simbol apa yang ada? You selalu ada simbol sama dengan. You tak akan ada simbol inversely proportional. You cannot find the Inversely proportional symbol in your normal calculator. They forgot, guys. Like I teach you, we going to change this to this. We going to change that to this. How to change it? Yeah. When you have a rate, this is mathematic. Yeah, guys. This is mathematic. You need to add a constant over here. The constant is over with a time. Ini apa ni? K ni adalah pemalar. Dalam bahasa, dalam English adalah a constant. It is a constant. Eh, hey guys. They forgot, guys. Rate is K over time. K is what? Apa tu K? K itu apa? K itu apa? What is that constant? What is that constant? What is the constant? No. Yes, Farah Kimia and Sarah. Itu yang kita belajar tadi. And the K ni boleh jadi mass, boleh jadi volume, boleh jadi mole, boleh jadi mola. Over with time taken. Inilah constant. <laughs> Chemists to maths do. <laughs> this is the chemistry. Yes, I told you. In this particular chapter, we have a lot of calculation. We have a plenty of calculation. So can anak-anak apa tu rate of reaction? In simple, rate of reaction, rate is the time taken for a reactant change to product. Masa yang diambil untuk bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Okay? Okay, good. It is time taken, one over time taken for the reactant change to product. Ah. Faham? Screen capture. Screen capture. Okay, good. Guys, in chemistry, or in fact in physics also, we are very concerned about unit. In physics, chemistry, we are very concerned about the unit. Apa? What you are talking, Sarah? Wey, apa yang kau orang sembang ni? Cukup, Sarah Goff. Okay, done. Come on, no. I cannot see what you wrote. 
at the lab. Oh, red is the time taken for a reactant change to product. Okay, dah. Masa yang diambil untuk bahan bertukar menjadi hasil. Oh, korang tak nampak eh screen kat sini? Tak nampak ke? Hmm. Okay. Okay, jadikan guys. Let's go. Okay, I'm erasing this. Okay, you tengok eh. Sekarang ni kita dah belajar red. <coughs> red can be uh, mass over time. Jisim bahagi masa. Atau volume bahagi masa. Mole bahagi masa. Wah, masa. And mola bahagi masa. Let's look the unit. Let's have a look the unit. Guys, normally kan dekat makmal, mass. What is the unit of the mass? Yes, normally gram over second. Tak ada lagi engkau buat eksperimen dekat sekolah kilogram over second. Korang buat eksperimen dalam test tube, bukan dalam baldi. Baldi tu dah dahsyat sangat dah. Ada ke main ambil satu kilogram kalium, ambil satu kilogram kalium, letak campak dalam baldi. Terbang baldi tu. Hmm. Guys, there are several ways to write this thing. Dia ada banyak cara untuk tulis benda ni. You can write like this or you can write like this or you can write like this. It's up to your taste. It's up to your taste. Dia boleh dalam pelbagai cara. Tapi kan, saya suka cara yang pertama dengan kedua. Ha, easier. Easier. Kedua, taste you. Million. Yes. Yang kedua, volume. Apa unit? Boleh, Khalidah. You kan suka semua. So, jeramnya memang untuk you. So, what happened? Untuk volume, you can have cm cubic over second. Kalau tak nak, you can have milliliter over second. You can have dm cubic over second. You can have liter over second. Boleh je. Boleh je. Tak ada masalah. Hmm, volume banyak sikit dia punya unit. Hmm. Untuk mole, dia tak ada banyak. Untuk mole tak ada. You ada mole over second. Only. Korang perasan tak? Selalunya, in chemistry, we prefer to use second. Tak adanya kita ada cm cubic over months, week. Years, decade, century. Kau ingat kau duduk kat lab tu satu abad. Memang tak lah. So you only will use second is more than enough. One di, <laughs> Betul lah Mar. Satu mililiter over decade. <laughs> Boleh jadi tak betul ya kalau satu dekat. Okey, untuk mola, untuk mola dia ada banyak cara. First, you can write 
a molar over second. Or you can write molar. What is the short form for molar? I have teach you in acid and base. Short form for molar. Molar adalah M besar over second. Atau you tak suka unit ini, you boleh guna mol dm cubic over second. Mol dm cubic over second. Ini semua unit yang boleh diterima untuk molar. Okay guys, understand?